Jeff, this all unfolded early this morning when Tuscaloosa police say they were responding to a police mischief call. We want some people to know what happened. What happened early Saturday morning, a call came into the Tuscaloosa Police Department from a family member of Kendrell Watkins, saying he was losing it and causing damage to their home. When we got there, he was not on scene. Well, what is your name, sir? About an hour later, he was spotted on MLK Boulevard near a Sonic. We sent an officer out to that location. He was sitting on a light pole. We talked to him. He was very calm. Uh, we had no charges at that point. Police say Watkins was told to leave the scene and body camera footage shows a second officer pull up and notice Watkins was the suspect in the earlier call and told him to stop. Uh, hey, Keyshawn, hold up real quick. When the officers look towards 15th Street, he's taking off all of his clothes. Uh, at that point, he's where traffic is and he's completely naked. Tuscaloosa Police Chief Brent Blankley says officers went after Watkins. There was a struggle. Taser, taser, taser. And he was tased and taken to a hospital for treatment. On the way to DCH, he told us that he had, had mojo earlier that day, which is the drug. Um, it's normally synthetic marijuana. You have to be transparent in today's times. and. We were, as a department, we're doing that. At this time, the cause of death for Watkins is unknown. An autopsy and toxicology screening is yet to be conducted. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.